Battle through the heavens. The skinny figure stood in the sky. His body did not move, but his majestic aura was enough to cause this area to tremble. Dozone, the true point when one could be considered a genuine expert on the continent. Only by successfully reaching this level would one gain the prerequisite that allowed one to survive in the central plains. Currently, Xiao Yan had reached this step at such an age. This achievement was impressive. The figure stood in the distant empty air. No dochi wings or bone wings appeared on his back. Walking through the air was a unique indicator of an elite dozong. At this moment, Xiao Yan's eyes were tightly shut. A majestic aura lingered over his body, causing it to appear as though he had transformed into a statue. What is wrong with him? Jin Gu asked. Surprise flashed across his eyes when he saw Xiao Yan's stillness. Currently, Xiao Yan had successfully advanced. Why had he become like this? It seems that he has entered a unique condition, Jin Shi hesitated for a moment before speaking. Jin Gu was startled when he heard this. Even though his strength was stronger than Xiao Yan, he was unable to see just what was happening in his body. Let's wait. He should recover soon. All right. Xiao Yan, who had his eyes shut in the sky, frowned intently while those two were speaking. The fire seal on his brows, which had not shown much activity for a long time, currently emitted a fire glow. This fire seal was something that Yao Lao had left behind when he had been captured. It was also not the first time that such a situation had occurred. When he broke through to the Do Huang class back then, Xiao Yan had followed the remnant spiritual seal in the fire seal, traveling space itself, to probe into the mysterious large hall where Yao Lao had been imprisoned. Due to his spiritual strength being weak back then, what he could see was extremely blur. A flash appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes after his spiritual strength entered the fire seal. A strange, dark black tunnel appeared. Without hesitating, his spiritual strength rushed into it like a bolt of lighting. This traveling continued for an unknown about of time before a kind of pressure was vaguely transmitted from the edge of the tunnel. A dark and dense fluctuation was also felt. There were quite a number of black rock pillars that were dozens of feet tall within the large hall. Many strange symbols were drawn on these rock pillars. They vaguely emitted a glow, appearing just like a countless number of flickering eyes, giving it a ghastly and chilly appearance. This black-colored chain was wrapped around the spiritual body's necks. There seemed to be something vaguely being drawn from the interior of the spiritual bodies through the chain. Xiao Yan's gaze moved with the chain and saw that there were some strange towering dark black-colored pillars present at the edge of the chain. Although Xiao Yan was currently only an invisible spiritual strength, his shocked emotion still appeared. For some unknown reason, he could not even see a single hall of soul guard within this hall. There was only the uniform ghastly and death-like silence. A strange and gloomy place of death. This was Xiao Yan's evaluation of this place. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength suddenly paused after traveling forward for a short while. His gaze was startled as he looked in front of him. There was a cluster of light, which did not stand out, suspended on a rock table. Inside of the light cluster was an old man, whose body appeared somewhat illusionary. This old man had both his eyes tightly shut. That old face, that was so familiar, was surprisingly Yao Lao. Yao Lao's neck also had a black-colored chain around it. Moreover, this black-colored chain seemed to be even bigger than the others. There was also more of those strange symbols on it. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength trembled intensely, revealing his excitement and an indescribable feeling at this moment. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength drifted toward the top of the rock table. Due to his cautiousness, Xiao Yan did not land his body. Instead, his gaze looked to Yao Lao, who had his eyes shut. He was able to sense Yao Lao's life force. 
Although it was weak, it was fortunate that nothing overly serious had happened to him. While Xiao Yan was observing Yao Lao, who was in a slumber, Ao Lao seemed to have sensed something. His eyelids twitched. After struggling for a moment, he gradually opened his eyes. Yao Lao's body instantly stiffened after he opened his somewhat turbid eyes. His gaze was dull as he started at the empty air in front of him. His body involuntarily trembled. Yao Lao watched the young man that was suspended while kneeling. His eyes became moist and a small voice passed through the light bulb. Little fellow, you have already done quite well. Being able to recruit you as my disciple is the best thing that these old bones of mine have ever done. Xiao Yan's eyes turned red. He whispered, Teacher, rest assured that I will come and rescue you as soon as possible. Perhaps you do not have the qualification. Xiao Yan's words had just sounded when an old, indifferent voice slowly resounded in the large hall. The old man in purple clothes glanced at Xiao Yan. He immediately knit his brows. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength vaguely gave him a somewhat familiar feeling. After thinking for a while, he involuntarily said with some surprise, You are the spiritual strength from back then? Xiao Yan stared at this purple clothed, old man and did not reply. The next time I come here, I will repay you all of the hardships that teacher has suffered during these years. Xiao Yan's gaze was just like that of a wild beast. It vaguely carried a craziness that caused one to feel afraid. Hopefully. The purple-clothed, old man raised his eyebrows as his hands suddenly clenched. The space around Xiao Yan immediately cracked apart. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength was eliminated by this frightening attack. The brows of the purple-clothed, old man were knit together when he saw the gratified look on Yao Lao's face. For some unknown reason, his heart felt a little uneasiness that had not appeared for an unknown number of years, although it was not very intense, it still caused him to feel a chill that seeped deep into his bones. Xiao Yan Ha a voice that contained some iciness slowly sounded within the quiet hall. Yao Lao within the light cluster looked at the frowning purple-clothed, old man in the large, dark black hall. He involuntarily laughed, Qin Tian, are you feeling an uneasiness? Yao Lao's head moved a little. It caused the chain to emit a clang sound. His eyelids were slowly shut as he coldly laughed, the old me is not a softy like you. Ridicule surfaced on Yao Lao's face, but he was too lazy to bother with the other person. I think you have a clear understanding of just what kind of strength the Hall of Souls possesses. Otherwise, given your haughtiness, it is impossible for you to hide for so many years. Although this place is only a branch hall of the Hall of Souls, do you really think that your disciple can barge in here? The purple-clothed, old man scornfully spoke. Any words that are spoken now will only gain a verbal victor. Everything will reveal a result when the time comes. Yao Lao smiled when he heard this. His originally turbid eyes had become exceptionally bright. After saying those words, the purple-clothed, old man swung his sleeves. The space beside him became distorted. He slowly disappeared into that distorted space in a strange manner. Yao Lao's fist was slightly clenched as he stared at the spot where the purple-clothed, old man had disappeared. He immediately let out a soft laugh as both his eyes were gradually shut. After the end of the conversation between the two, the incomparably large hall once again became deathly silent. At the top of Heaven Eye Mountain, the strong outpour slowly started to stop. Warm sunlight fell from the ground and brightened up the whole mountain. The environment after rain was extremely fresh. Teacher, wait for me. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air and suppressed the churning killing intent within his heart. His tightly clenched hands were slowly opened. The purple-clothed, old man whom he had seen this time around should be the first genuine elite Dou Zun that Xiao Yan had ever met. That vast pressure was indeed extremely terrifying. 
Xiao Yan had learned a lot after entering that large, dark black hall. Of course, the thing that reassured Xiao Yan was that Yao Lao was still safe. Although Yao Lao's situation might not appear good, at the very least there was no sign of his life being in danger. Even though this was the case, Xiao Yan knew that he needed to speed up. It was not easy for Yao Lao to be able to endure for so many years. If he were to drag on for another couple of years, it was difficult to say just what would happen. Once I have settled the matter here, I will head to that wind lightning pavilion. I must find Feng Zunzhe no matter what. I must get his help in order to rescue Yao Lao as soon as possible. Xiao Yan clenched his fist and threw out a punch without any fancy moves. One could see the space around his fist become distorted. A low ear-piercing sonic boom sounded over the sky like thunder. This simple punch was even stronger than the octane blast Xiao Yan had displayed with all his strength back then. Dou Zong and Dou Huang were indeed two completely different levels. Although this one star Dou Zong might seem unworthy of being mentioned, the gap between every star within the Dou Zong class was enormous. If one were to rely on normal training, requiring many years or even more time than a decade in order to raise one's strength by one star was not rare. Huh, little friend Xiao Yan, congratulations on advancing to the Dou Zong class. Jin Gu smiled when he saw Xiao Yan land in the rock pavilion. His manner of addressing Xiao Yan had changed without him realizing it. Currently Xiao Yan was considered someone in the same class as them. Moreover, he was aware that Xiao Yan possessed quite a number of hidden trump cards. It was likely that even he would not be a match for Xiao Yan if they were to really fight. I was merely lucky. If Elder Jin Shi had not provided me with the training spot, it is likely that Xiao Yan would have found it difficult to break through. Xiao Yan cupped his hands toward the two and chuckled. These words were indeed true. If he had not trained in the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool, it was likely impossible for Xiao Yan to break through the Dou Huang class without at least a year. Jin Shi grinned when he heard this. He said, we are only getting what we want. The old me is unable to shoulder this thanks. However, you have exceeded the old me's expectation by remaining in the blood pool for over two months. Even I do not dare to stay within it for such a long time. I have trained for over two months huh, Xiao Yan was startled. His gaze swept around him, but he did not see Nalan Yanran and the others. Nalan Yanran has also left. Xiao Yan was a little surprised when he heard this. Immediately, he nodded. It was fortunate that he was already aware of Yun Yun's whereabouts. When he had the time, he would head to the flower sect and see how she was doing. Little friend Xiao Yan. Currently, you have successfully broken through the Dou Huang class. I wonder, Jin Shi hesitated for a moment before suddenly speaking. Jin Shi and Jin Gu sighed in relief when they heard this. Jin Shi was considered the strongest person in the Gold Swallowing Mouse tribe. Their tribe was able to occupy this Heaven Eye Mountain because of the deterrence of the two of them. If Jin Shi were to end up dying because of the fire poison, it would definitely be a great loss to the Gold Swallowing Mouse tribe. Jin Gu and Jin Shi were also aware of some of the alchemists' tradition. If they wanted the alchemist to refine a medicinal pill, they needed to prepare their own medicinal ingredients. These alchemists only needed to refine a pill. Jin Gu swiftly left the rock pavilion after receiving the white paper. After which, he rushed to the middle of the mountain. He needed to prepare all of these medicinal ingredients as fast as possible. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw Jin Gu disappear. Xiao Yan's heart moved when he heard this. He hesitated for a moment before suddenly asking, In that case, can I inquire about something from Elder Jin Shi? Please ask. Jin Shi responded. May I know if Elder Jin Shi has heard of the Gu clan? Xiao Yan licked his lips and slowly asked. Gu clan. 
These two simple words, however, caused Jin Shi's expression to instantly change. Xiao Yan's heart tightened when he saw the change of Jin Shi's expression. It seemed that he was aware of some information that was related to the Gu clan. Little friend Xiao Yan, why have you suddenly mentioned the Gu clan? Don't tell me that you have a conflict with them. Jin Shi also gradually recovered a moment later and spoke with some worry. This Gu clan was not the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Xiao Yan might still be able to live happily even after offending the Wind Lightning Pavilion. However, if he were to form an enmity with this mysterious Gu clan, the result. Jin Shi sighed in relief. He wiped off the cold sweat on his forehead as he said, It is best if this is the case. Throughout the Central Plains region, the humans' Hall of Souls, and Pill Hall or the three great ancient families in the magical beast world fear this Gu clan. Why is it that I have never heard of this Gu clan? Moreover, this clan has never appeared among the humans nor magical beast factions. Could it be that they do not belong to either one? Xiao Yan asked uncertainly. Strictly speaking, this Gu clan could be considered human. However, they are descendants from the ancient times. It is rumored that they possessed the bloodline of a Do Di. Jin Shi slowly explained. The bloodline of a Do Di. Xiao Yan was stunned. These clans that possess an ancient Do Di bloodline greatly discriminate against outsiders. Due to them needing to maintain the purity of their bloodline, even if they were to marry an ordinary human, they would definitely choose an extremely outstanding person. There were quite a number of clans in the ancient times who possessed the bloodline of a Do Di. However, with the flow of time, it seems that hardly any remained. The survivors are called the extremely mysterious Gu clan. The Gu clan doesn't care much for the ranking on the continent but its strength is without doubt. There are many experts in the clan and speaking truthfully, there are very few factions in the continent that can contend against it. Xiao Yan nodded his head. It was no wonder that Sun Er told him that he had to wait until he was a Do Zong before he could go and try to find her. So the Gu clan was actually this scary. Thinking of the strength of the Hall of Souls, even they were afraid of the Gu clan. How terrifying was the strength of this Gu clan? Then does Elder Jin Shi know where the headquarters of the Gu clan is? Xiao Yan paused before asking. Gu Realm. Xiao Yan was once again startled when he heard these unfamiliar words. Any experts who reach the Doshin class are basically standing on the peak of the Dochi continent. At this level, one would have already surpassed the ordinary and would have stepped into the holy level. The strength that one would possess would naturally be far from what an ordinary person can imagine. Opening a realm where people could live is an indicator of an elite Dosheng. Jin Shi sighed. His voice contained extreme envy. This Gu realm is built from the extremely strong Dou Shengs of the Gu clan over the generations. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of cold air. Opening a realm. Was such a frightening thing really something that a person's strength could achieve? An elite Dou Sheng was so powerful it ended up making one feel disbelief. Xiao Yan felt himself tremble when he thought of the frightening strength that could tear space apart with just the lift of a hand. This was already the case for an elite Dou Sheng. Then just how terrifying was the even stronger Dou Di? By comparing the two, the mysterious ability of an elite Dou Di being able to change their bloodline mentioned by Jin Shi did not appear to be some cooked up story. Even I am not certain on how one enters this Gu realm. If not for the many members of my gold-swallowing mouse tribe, it is likely that I would be far from qualified to be aware of so many secrets given my strength. Jin Shi shook his head and spoke somewhat regretfully. Xiao Yan nodded. He was also satisfied by learning so much information related to the Gu clan. Although the Gu clan's strength was extremely great, he would definitely break into that place for Sun Er even if it was extremely dangerous. Once I rescue Yao Lao, I will head to that Gu clan. 
Regardless of how special you are, you are ultimately humans. Xiao Yan clenched his teeth and spoke viciously in his heart. He did not feel any fear just because of the great strength behind the Gu clan. Sun Er had waited for him for so many years. Regardless of the situation, he needed to make a trip there. Otherwise, he was heartless. Looks like I should quickly expel the fire poison in Jin Shi. The four pavilion grand meeting that Mu Qing Luan had mentioned is about to begin. If I miss it, I don't know just when it will be before I can find Feng Zunzhe. Jin Gu efficiency had somewhat exceeded Xiao Yan's expectation. Before noon time, all the things that Xiao Yan needed were delivered into his hands. A fog floated within a rock house on the slopes of a mountain. The fog contained waves of dense medicinal fragrance and a transpiring heat. A jade green flame was swiftly writhing on Xiao Yan's hand just beside the wooden basin. There were numerous medicinal ingredients mixed with it. A moment later, it transformed into a drop of a fiery red medicinal liquid. With a flick of his finger, the medicinal liquid fell into the basin. The surface of the water immediately turned red as many fiery red bubbles churned within it. Consume this medicinal pill. A medicinal pill shot out from Xiao Yan's storage ring before being suspended in front of Jin Shi. He sucked it and swallowed it into his body. Hiss hiss. Jin Shi's body intensely trembled as the fishy gray liquid seeped out. His teeth were tightly clenched together as his mouth emitted a hissing voice. Clearly, he was suffering an extremely intense pain during the process of forcing the poison out. Jin Gu by the side also became anxious when he saw Jin Shi's painful expression. There is no need to be anxious. It is only a normal pain. Everything will be fine if he can endure for a while. Xiao Yan's face was calm. He waved his hand and a cluster of jade green flames fell from it. After which, it landed in the wooden basin, and the temperature of the fire red liquid swiftly rose. With the rise of the flame, an increasing amount of grey colored liquid seeped out of Jin Shi's body. However, with the combustion of the glazed lotus heart flame, the fire poison was swiftly incinerated the moment they appeared. Thus, the purity of the medicinal strength in the wooden basin was maintained. This method of using ice and fire to expel the poison continued for nearly eight hours. Only then did it end because of the exhaustion of the medicinal strength within the wooden basin. However, it must be said that the fire poison was indeed deposited too deeply within Jin Shi's body. Xiao Yan was unable to completely remove it from the root despite having used this method. Thank you Mr. Xiao Yan. Our gold swallowing mouse tribe will definitely not forget this favor. If there is anything that requires our help in the future, you can come and look for the old me on the Heaven Eye Mountain. Jin Shi solemnly bowed to Xiao Yan as he spoke in a deep voice. He could sense the change in his body. A disease that had been with him for so many years could finally be expelled. Currently, his heart was quite excited. I wonder if I am able to rely on my strength to refine this demon poison spot with my current ability. If I am able to obtain the Do Qi from a Do Zong's lifetime, it would likely be a great tonic to me. Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily became heated when he thought of this. His intention to deal with the demon poison spot was not something that he had been thinking about for just one or two days. 